Howdy, we're back on the 440 project here. Today is the rear seal. So we've got that put in place. Um, so the side seals are already in and we're gonna install it here into the block. I've got, uh, of course, the upper half of the seal is already in place. We'll take a look at that. The uh, lip is facing towards the front of the engine. There's a pretty decent view. Okay, everything is cleaned up. I used mineral spirits to make sure that everything in there is nice and clean, uh, including the uh, the sides, where we're gonna put a little bit of this Permatex oil-resistant black RTV on it. Okay, and we've got our 3 8 factory original bolts here, uh, 12 points instead of the uh, normal hex six. So I've got a, a 12 point socket. So we're gonna get after that, as well as I've got a torque wrench here. And it reads, well, it's in inch pounds, but we'll convert it to uh, foot pounds. So the book says these are 30 foot pounds. So we'll go with 360 inch pounds, multiplying by 12. All right, well, uh, what we want to do here is get a little bit of this RTV on this ceiling surface here. Again, I've cleaned all these, so just going to get it on here. Not too crazy. You don't want it to get all smushed out into the, uh, the crankshaft itself, but you want to make sure that this is going to be enough to get against the block and uh, create a good seal. Okay. It's looking pretty good like that. Just a dab more there. Okay, we'll get this side here. It's not bad. I don't know that you gotta be quite so careful, but just make sure you get a little bit on the all the surfaces and not too excessive. It's looking pretty good. All right, so the way this goes in, uh, the bolt holes, the big ones go to the back. These small ones for the oil pan go towards the front. Um, there's like a chamfer here that goes to the rear. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this extra stuff here um, right along the seal not gonna hurt. In fact, it'll probably help it go together a little bit. Okay, so we'll do that. A little bit of that on there. And it comes with a uh, little plastic shoehorn. So uh, I'll go ahead and use that to try to get one side started. And we'll see how that works. Get a little bit of that in there. Okay, so this is what the little plastic shoehorn looks like, and uh, well, we'll see. I think it's going to be kind of tight, but uh, hopefully we can get one side started like that, and then bring this down like this, and if we're lucky, might be able to get it to get started here. There it goes. All right, so now I'm gonna get the little shoehorn out of the way. Let's see if we can't just slowly get it to go down. about halfway. Get it, when it's getting to be almost home, you could probably get the bolts and make sure they're gonna line up okay. There's a lip on the crankshaft on either side of where that goes. 
So it kind of wants to naturally find its way. Let's see. It's lucky enough that these bolts start. That one started. That one started. You gotta make sure your socket is small enough that it fits down in the cap. Um, if you got big stuff, you know, like for an impact or something, it will probably be too thick of a wall. You know, this is pretty small. Okay. Now this is aluminum. That's why it's a lot lower torque than those steel main caps, which have much bigger fasteners. Well, the torque is pretty much tied to the fastener style. Not so much what you're fastening, but at any rate, you're working with aluminum and much smaller bolts. Okay, so torque wrench here. And this one's an inch pound, so we're going to start out a little bit lighter. Probably like 240. See how that is. I'll go a little bit by hand first. Okay. pretty much done. Make sure that this RTV isn't excessive. Um, kind of wipe that off a little bit there. After this sets up a little bit, I'll probably come back and fill in these holes with some black RTV as well. That way when we get the gasket on here for the oil pan eventually, um, we won't have a big hole there. It'll just kind of be flush. And I've seen guys come in with razor blades and just trim off this blue seal a little bit. I might do that as well. It's really not sticking up too much because I pre-installed it with a little RTV into the cap, you know, on each side. So it stayed in place nice. And uh, this looks good. I like it. All right.